somber day for cyclists in Durham. They gathered to ride in silence in honor of Matthew Simpson. The family man was killed by a hit and run driver two weeks ago while riding with his wife and two children. CBS 17's Dina Harley talks with cyclists who are on a mission to make sure this does not happen again. Dozens of people riding silently along this trail, pushing for more safety regulations for bikers in Durham, but also to honor the life of one man. Lacing up their sneakers and hitting the pedals, dozens of bike riders in Durham had one person on their mind on Saturday, Matthew Simpson. Simpson was hit by a driver near Guess Road by Westover Park two weeks ago and later died from his injuries. He was biking home from a museum trip with his wife and two young children who witnessed the entire crash. Whenever somebody goes out and is riding with their family for the fun, for joy, or they're walking the streets of Durham to you know, get to work or wherever they're going, you should never have a situation where somebody doesn't come home. On Sunday, Bike Durham invited other avid bike riders to honor his life by riding in silence for about 30 minutes, but also by leaving notes and flowers for Simpson on this ghost bike that now rests on the corner where he was struck. There's a lot of comfort in seeing how many people uh, both think that this is unacceptable and uh, don't want to ever see this happen again. Durham police say the driver who struck Simpson is Omari Newsome, who has not been found or arrested. Police are asking anyone for tips on his whereabouts. Meanwhile, cyclists are also focusing on making some major changes to make Durham safer for all riders. We want to see uh, networks of sidewalks, protected bike lanes. That means physical separation from the traffic lanes. Now that ghost bike will stay at that spot here at Westover Park where people can continue to leave any notes and flowers. Reporting in Durham, Dino Harley, CBS 17 News.